We were shocked and saddened by the violence as all of my citizens. Because we are shocked, not only are the victims juveniles, but the murderers are juveniles as well. Two boys are in custody and a third still on the run just one week after three Florida teens were brutally murdered. To think and believe to minimize any actions that is criminal of a juvenile is a disservice and frankly stupid to think. We need to hold them accountable. And then hope that we can change them. On March 30th, 16-year-old Layla Silvernail was found in a dumpster in Marion County, Florida. She had been shot in the head. Silvernail was taken to the hospital where she later died. The following day, the body of a 17-year-old boy was found lying on the side of the road less than one mile from the dumpster. Right now, his name isn't being released publicly because of Marcy's Law. The day after his body was discovered, investigators recovered Silvernail's vehicle partially submerged in a pond. Inside the trunk, officials found the body of 16-year-old Camille Corliss. At a press conference this week, Marion County Sheriff Billy Woods said the victims were associated with what he called a hybrid or wannabe gang. Let's be frank, anybody that associates with a grant gang at some point in their life, they've done something whether they've been arrested or not, okay? So when I tell you they hybrid gangs, people in gangs, it's not a gang because it's all you know unicorns and everything else, it's because they do illegal stuff. Simple as that. On Friday, the sheriff gave more information about the suspects and victims gang relations. Now the investigators were able to determine that this group of juveniles were involved in committing burglaries and robberies, which they were referred to as a lick. Now, although we had out there that was gang related, we have nothing specific to say that it was any rivalry or anything to such that cause. But however, each and every one of them in some shape or form is associated with a gang. What do you think they were doing? They're associated with a gang. And I've told some of y'all in interviews, gangs don't go to church on Sunday and then preach the gospel for the next six days. They're gangs because they commit crimes. How simple is this idea? Where are we losing it? The three suspects have now been identified as 17-year-old Robert Robinson, 12-year-old Christopher Atkins, and 16-year-old Taj Bruton. Robinson and Atkins are now both in custody, facing first-degree murder charges. Officials say they admitted to the killings. According to court documents, Atkins told investigators he was forced to shoot one of the victims, quote, or his family would be killed. At the time of this recording, Bruton still remains on the loose. This individual, who is a juvenile also, is who we're looking for. Now, I'm talking to the viewers. Some of you know him, you know where he is, and you need to turn him in. Now, I will get him. I will find him. And justice will be completed. Investigators say the suspects stole a gun the same day they committed the murders. They also revealed burglary was a motive in the killings. A simple burglary, as some people will say, but I don't consider anything simple when it comes to a burglary. Simple terms? There is no honor among the thieves. And at some point, these three individuals turned on our three victims and murdered them. Two of them right there. They fled the scenes, but left a lot of evidence in their wake. Officials say the parents of the suspects had a range of emotions upon hearing the news. If you're a parent, put yourself in their shoes. Holy hell, panic. I'm scared to death as a parent, embarrassed, ashamed. What do you think they're gonna say? We do not hold 
our ju juveniles accountable. We minimize their actions. And let me tell you why I say this. Last night, I had to stare into the eyes of two mothers. It's not their fault. Because what I saw last night was two mothers who are willing to give their sons everything. Do everything for them and give them their own lives. But just like you and I, no matter how much we teach them, because I am a father. I am a father. And I cannot fathom what they were going through. These mothers and mothers across this nation need all of your help. Right now, the Florida State Attorney's Office is reviewing the case, working to determine whether the suspects will be tried as adults. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.